Hello and welcome. My name is Muhammad Dwayne and this is Motionology. Growing up as a motion graphic designer and a Cinema 4D user, I had some difficulties understanding Expresso and all of the notes within Expresso. So I decided to make a series of tutorials explaining all of these nodes individually one by one. Starting with the first one, which is the bitmap node, which you can access through the Expresso editor, of course. This bitmap node is actually very simple. It only allows you to bring in an image and then read out color values at a specific location within that image determined by XY values. The second use of this bitmap node is to read out the dimension of that image you know just the height and the width so how gonna be able to do that so we do have three options as an input of this node so we have the file name the X and the Y as an output we have three options as well the color and the height and the width once you have this file name active on this node you're gonna find it here in the attribute manager and this file name is actually an option which allow you to bring in that image that we talked about so let's load that image now we need to read out the color values from that image so let's add in a result value a uh, result node sorry and then let's change the data type of this result from real to vector. So we have these three numbers, which will represent the RGB. So let's connect that color to this result node. Let's add another node for a material. Let's bring that material to the Expresso and let's uh, uh, bring in the color uh, value and let's connect that as well to that uh, uh, color uh, in the in this material and now once we uh, done that you can actually that the color black pumped into place why is that because when we take a look at this image we can see the first color is the color black at the world zero so now if we change the XY values let's see if we change this value of X we're gonna see another color. We can see it here in the result node that these values are changing and we can see it in the uh, material. How we can read out the height and the width, you can add another result node. This time's gonna be real, it's okay. And let's connect the height to this result. We can see that it it is 1000 which means the height of this image is 1000 pixel let's uh, make a copy hit control and drag this result and let's uh, connect the width uh, is going to be 1000 so this image is 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next